This is Fort Montague. It's the oldest standing fort left in the Bahamas, but it was the second fort built. So the first fort was Fort Nassau, which was on the site of where the British colonial host Hilton stands. Fort Montague was built as the eastern defense to the harbor of Nassau. And Fort Montague was two complexes. So you have the fort which we're in now, and there was a little battery called Bladen's Battery just to the east of the fort, but that doesn't exist anymore. Montague's especially was built because there was a lot of fear of attacks from the Spanish. Um, the Bahamas is very close to Cuba and Florida, which was a Spanish colony. And so there was always sort of this fear of Spanish invasion, especially since this was a British territory. And a lot of privateering and pirating actually was based in the Bahamas. And they would attack Spanish ships and Spanish galleons. So the Spanish was always attacking the Bahamas as a sort of revenge well, all of the forts in the Bahamas are actually built from cut limestone. So they would cut the limestone naturally and then use a lime mortar mix to build them. Out of our built heritage, especially Montague is probably one of the oldest buildings, especially on New Providence. Um, but before the forts, we have an indigenous history and indigenous culture of the Lucayan Indians. And a lot of their sites still remain, but that's buried in the sand and in the, in the dunes. And this is what archaeologists go and search for. The cannons here at Fort Montague are quite old and they are spiked, but if we wanted to fire them again, there are methods we can use to drill out the spike and fire them again, but that entails the use of gunpowder, cannonballs, and so forth. 